hello guys today i going to uh, show you something interesting uh, so to i i want to track uh, see normally uh, I, I will uh, play with my controllers so i am going uh, uh, to my index page uh, about page and uh, contact us page uh, like uh, whatever the action that i am normally going but uh, i want to track all my uh, actions uh, like uh, i am currently in a which context it means uh, like which controller and action i am hitting so normally we know this uh, home slash index means actually it will go and hit the home controller index but we have a different root names mm, but actually uh, we don't know so s some cases uh, we will set up some dynamic uh, root names that will hit on a common uh, controller called something like search or something but we uh, we we will not usually know that um, by the URL we can't exactly uh, identify the controller yes if you change the root uh, uh, data uh, tables so that that case it will be fails so I want to track my uh, which controller and which uh, um, action I am hitting so currently I am hitting the home slash index make sure that yes I am hitting the home controller under that uh, uh, index action so uh, or I can uh, rename something uh, different I can set my mm, action name and the root name uh, instead of index uh, home slash uh, something test so that will hit my index action so that is what uh, the scenarios uh, that scenarios it will be failed uh, actual I'm uh, there in index uh, action but uh, uh, it, uh, mm, I came to know uh, that uh, but uh, it is not uh, actually the real uh, my index but actually I am hitting the URL home slash test so how to identify that controller and action is today topics so let me uh, go on to create uh, two variables mm. okay string controller name equal to okay so this we can find uh, directly from the controller can context controller context here uh, you can uh, go on to check the root data root data dot values so values so you can uh, find the controller by uh, placing controller yes this is the key uh, for the controller to string so this will provide me the controller name and the same likewise I can go and uh, check my action name equal to controller context dot root data inside the root data values values we can identify the action to string okay then uh, this you can add it uh, to your VBAC also to make sure that uh, yes uh, we're getting the right okay something like control C N dot okay okay I'm just passing this in a VBAC uh, we'll uh, see uh, from the result in in my view only I just going to add this result this you can do something like this okay so I added uh, to view back so this view back I am calling in my view okay this you can log it in uh, your uh, database as well so you have a uh, different uh, scenario so see you can create uh, you can extract a uh, method so you can uh, refract in a method so you can extract uh, as a method so you can extract this method or you can call it to anywhere so the uh, okay then I will just call my VBAC so you can log it my your controller action in your database or logger whatever whatever the 
the stuffs you want to handle or the way you you want to handle it so you can go ahead and use it like that okay I'm just uh, okay let me save all the stuffs again I'll going to rebuild my application let's we'll see the control name and uh, it should display okay yep so it is displaying my uh, controller and the index so that is what I mentioned I just pass to the view and the action so likewise you can use this method and track mm, exactly where the con uh, which controller uh, which action you are hitting and you can track along with lot of stuff so initiated with this so you can go ahead and find all the root data whatever you have so maximum data you can collect hopes you understand thanks for watching the video if you have any doubt queries please comment us please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before